What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today is kind of a different video because I'm gonna be making a corral. So what I'm going to do is turn these trees into something useful because right now they're just going to be piled up and burned. I'm excited to show you guys how I'm going to get it from right now where there is no corral, there's just a bunch of dead trees to the final finished product of a nice wooden corral that I can work horses in. I've got these massive chainsawing chaps that uh, a good friend of mine actually sent me. I'd rather wear these than not have a leg. There's probably at least half of the wood that I need for the corral is already up on higher ground. So we're gonna cut that all up tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome to day two of building the corral. It's looking good. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> I'm not really sure where to put the corral. Um, there's lots of different options, but they're kind of not options because of the sun shade issue. I'm gonna get the drone, fly it around, see if there's a good spot that I didn't notice by walking around. I think I found a spot, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then I got distracted because I found some baby birds that were kind of cool, some like eagle things. And then I found a bunch of baby caimans and that was really distracting. <laughs> One side that looks like a log is going to be on the inside of the corral and the split side is going to be towards the outside. I only need, let's see, one, two, three times, oh gosh, I need a lot of these. Uh, maybe a little bit too much weight for it, but that's probably about half as much as I need. So far, so good. Well, we got a lot done today. Um, man, I'm tired. It's the end of day three and I've been able to cut every single sideboard that's needed for the whole corral. It's 83 boards. My father-in-law was here helping to push all of the weeds out of the way and clear an area for the corral, which is really, really important because it would have taken forever to do that by hand. 
Pretty soon I'm going to be standing in a fully constructed corral. Hey guys, welcome to day four. So, I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday. The corral will be right between this tree and this tree right here. Basically, all I have to do then is put a post or a little stick here in the middle and measure from that a full circle and mark that out and then I can clear that with the tractor. So, it's gonna be good. work today getting all the posts up closer to the corral and also clearing this area from all the small trees my brother-in-law he came to help me so it's day five and today's goal is to drag all the posts over to the corral site measuring them making sure it'll all work here and then painting those posts with some protective coatings Alright guys, so today we're actually digging the holes for all the posts. So it's 5 a.m. We just used a laser level to make sure all of the posts at least have a level marking on them. And my dad's out here today making sure I'm doing a good job. And my little brother.
fine and the corral still needs a gate. So it's going well. I've decided to actually make the gate in place because it was going to be too heavy for me to lift. So horses are so delicate that I'm trying to make this kind of horse proof, getting it all cleaned up nice and smooth so that some of the logs imperfections don't hurt the horse if they accidentally bump into the fence. So I'm definitely happy with the progress, um, got a lot done. There's a lot of grass in here which isn't ideal but as soon as the horses start running there's a really sandy red dirt underneath that'll come up. And it won't take long uh, just having horses in here for this all to go back to mud. It's almost done. I'm kind of nostalgic about the project. I don't want it to finish. But I'm sure you guys want to see the end. So stay tuned for the next day. The corral is so close to being finished. I literally just have to put a hook on the gate and the corral is completed. The reason I made this platform is because I want owners to be able to watch the horses be trained. And also it's going to be a great place to film from. <laughs> So the corral's finished. So is this platform. It's been a great process. I'm gonna get a horse in here, show you guys how it works. The corral is officially finished, guys. It's been an incredible project. A lot of work, a lot of time put into this. Totally worth it though to have the finished results of a beautiful corral that I can actually work horses in. Building this corral has taught me a lot about perseverance and patience. It's also been an incredible experience from all the nature that I've seen out here to uh, being able to recycle a lot of this wood that would have just been burned and trashed. So guys, this video took a lot of work, a lot of editing, a lot of time. If you'd like to support this channel and help me out, go ahead and subscribe, like the video and share it with a friend. That way more people get to see it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.
Alright guys, there's definitely some technical issues there. Hey, 